We're joined today by Alan Kelly, Executive Chairman at Miramar Resources. Alan, thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks, Dave. It's been a busy quarter, some would say the busiest yet. What are some of the highlights? Yeah, we, you know, we've uh, just, uh, just been listed about two years and the, the September quarter, uh, we actually did drilling programs across four different projects. And at one point we had three rigs going at the same time, which was pretty, you know, pretty big uh, level of activity for the company. So um, from that program, the, probably the most exciting stuff was our diamond drilling on the lake at Glandor, which is our project east of Kavaluri. And the first couple of diamond holes there hit visible gold. Um, we're still waiting on a few assays from that, but the first two holes hit numbers sort of almost a metre at 14 grams and a metre at sort of six grams. And, and there's really good potential there to find something pretty quickly. There's some historic diamond drilling there that were hitting results like six metres and 30 grams and that. Um, so we'll be pretty excited to see the rest of those diamond results when they come in. Um, one of the other projects that we, we had going in September was our whale shark project up near Romslow. Uh, that's an iron oxide copper gold um, target, so you know, similar to something like Ernest Henry or Olympic Dam or, or Caratina or Javieron. So obviously big scale potential. And what we did there is we followed up on some um, MMI soil samples that we did last year and drilled some air core holes down to the top of the basement. Um, and we've got some very large copper, uranium, rare earth anomalies. And the, the sort of scale and the number that we're seeing there is very similar to what they saw at Ernest Henry. So we think that's quite, quite exciting. So the next step there is to do some, um, probably some ground geophysics, some EM or something like that to help us pick out some more defined sort of deep drill targets there. Um, and then finally, uh, actually sort of only a couple of weeks ago, uh, we flew a, a detailed magnetic and radiometric survey at one of our Bangamore projects, um, a place called Dooley Downs. Uh, the Bangamore sits in between the, the Yilgarn and the Pilbara as part of this uh, protozoic Capricorn origin which has got a lot of potential for things like nickel, copper, PGEs, but also there's been some recent um, rare earth discoveries there. So people like Hastings are up there at the Yangabana project. Uh, Dreadnought have made some discoveries at Yin and, and Mangaroon. And there's a few other people like uh, Lanthanine and TG1. So the, 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 the Dooley Downs project, we flew a magnetic and radiometric survey and we got some really nice um, magnetic lows that are coincident with uranium and thorium anomalies. So they look like they could be, you know, potentially an intrusion, like a bottom-flight intrusion or something like that. But they're, they're quite big and we need to do some more follow-up work on the ground there as well. What's the next six to 12 months look like from an activity point of view? Yeah, well, we, we, as I said, we've had a really busy quarter. So now we're going to probably take stock of, of where some of our drill programs are at. Um, we want to do some deeper drilling at Gigi. Um, we've sort of taking the foot off the accelerator there a little bit while we're doing some other stuff. But there's some deeper drilling to do there on a couple of targets. Uh, Glandor will depend on what the results come back from this diamond drilling. But things like uh, whale shark, as I said, probably the next opportunity there to do some work is some ground EM up there to find targets. And Bangamore, it'll be you know probably some ground mags, maybe some, um, some ground radiometrics as well. So it's probably, we're at stage now of sort of spending a bit more time working up drill targets for deeper testing. Investors love drilling, investors love results. You've clearly achieved those this year. Exciting times ahead for Miramar and its shareholders. Alan, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dave.